just at the camera? Yeah. Hey Cavaliers Nation, this is Kobe Altman, General Manager of your Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, a lot has happened since my last letter uh, from the desk of and figured let's come to you live in person uh, from my office and discuss the various things that have, have transpired and happened um, to the Cavaliers uh, and us uh, recently. To start with, let's talk about J.B. Bickerstaff, our head coach. As you know, uh, we extended him officially on Christmas Day, quite a, quite a Christmas present for the Picker staffs. They were super excited, uh, as are we. Um, you know, JB has led this team uh, and this franchise, and I think the thing that really has been impressive about him is we've created an identity. Um, and even through all the various challenges we've had with COVID and, and injuries recently, we still remain the second best team in the league in defensive efficiency. And I think teams really struggle when they see JB's defense night in and night out. Why don't you come over here? All okay, you gotta do is media. Can't say what I wanna say. Good luck on the road trip there, coach. Uh, he has some incredible core values. He brings a presence to the table. He's an incredible communicator and our guys love playing for him. So well-deserved extension for, for JB as he leads us into the future. And I think we all uh, love the fact that he's going to be our leader. Um, and uh, what a special, special guy for, for a team and a growing, growing young core. And I'd also like to talk about the resiliency of this team um, and its players. Uh, we've been thrown some loops uh, really early on. Uh, when, when K Love and Lowry Marketing went down with COVID to start with, I felt like we almost jump started the league into that protocol system early on when they missed several games. And we overcame that with an incredible road trip to start the season. And then most recently, uh, getting slammed with, with COVID uh, and a recent injury with Ricky, which we will address as well, which was a gut punch, losing Colin early on in the season. Um, this team has managed to navigate through all of it. And let's be honest, it was, we were rolling uh, before our most recent COVID outbreak. Uh, it was fun, um, it was exciting. And even still, through that, guys stepped up. Next man mentality. Um, guys stepped in and it felt like a system. It felt like we didn't miss a beat, even though we were missing key players. Guys stepped in, we were playing incredible basketball, and it was a lot of fun. And I think that speaks to the character, the work ethic, um, and the fact that they really appreciate each other. They love playing with each other. They support each other. They have each other's backs. And um, this, is, uh, you know, this is a team that has some real toughness, some real mental toughness. What are you showing Colin right here? Just so I can know. Huh? Do you understand what this is? No, no. If the number go up or down, that's all I understand. <laughs> That's is the I green mean, good or the red good? The green's good. The green's good. good. That's all I'm worried about. <laughs> that first set, very first session, okay. right there, right? So sitting around the five, and then when we doubled it, right, we were sitting a little bit higher, like six, seven. If you look at today's first session, you're already you're right higher at the five. Okay. Yeah. And all this is doing is it's telling me how, how fast and how good that contraction is. And you go to your second session, you get it. Look, sitting up there in the six. Okay. So that's the whole point. We just got to turn, 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 turn everything back on. It looks good, man. How you feeling, though? Feel you had a good birthday? Yeah. It's good to have you at the arena yesterday, man. That was awesome. Man of the y'all I know. <laughs> Feel good. How you doing? Good. Y'all doing all right? Yeah. <laughs> good to be back. See what the boys talk about. I'm excited. And I'm walking a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Walking. <laughs> yeah. So. Sitting there, like, sitting there. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I can't wait. But good to be back. Yeah. Good to see you. It's been a while. Got, got Memphis tonight. Let's. Take care of business at home, yeah. and then go on a road trip, and just continue to go, and continue to build. Yeah. But at the end of the day, day by day, game by game, uh, that's all we can say. What up? Happy birthday again. 
How you doing? Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. What's up, boss? How you doing? Man, I'm excited, bro, man. <laughs> Love seeing what the team is doing. Oh, the pants tight, bro. Nuh uh. You ain't got uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see what the team is doing. Man, doing big things, good things. And, hey, I'm still watching, watching every game and excited to see all the success that we're coach and the team has got all the players and hey good to be back yeah and then just being able to beat around the guys like talking yeah. and laughing you missed those times it's a good group and you started yeah. it man you started the culture here so everybody like appreciate it man you can tell like it's good you know what i mean Everything. how hard is it for you to get around just like just well now me and george been practicing like my walking yeah and stuff so now i'm feeling Feeling pretty good, being able to. I mean, now um, the other day was the first time I was able to stand up and shoot, so I felt good. I'm gonna be able to shoot again today, so good, man. Just to do it every day. Yeah, so, man. Excited to have you back, man. I know. I'm glad to be yeah. back. Yeah. I wrote about this in my last letter. Is how much we miss Colin Sexton. Um, he has been a part of this young core and a part of this emerging culture. He almost was the one that started it for us a few years back. And so losing him was a huge blow to what we were doing. Um, and I think you can see now, we missed that ball handling. We missed that dynamic playmaking, that go get one, that scoring type. New Orleans sets the scene as the Cavaliers and the Pelicans are only minutes away from tip off inside Smoothie King Center. Love, flicks one to Rubio, Rubio to the foul line. And a foul is called. It's on Graham and Ricky. Says I. Well, I thought he was saying I'm okay. I hate to see this set. Yeah. I think Ricky was an emotional uh, gut punch for everybody in the building, just for what he brought to this franchise. We talked about taking a step forward this year and this off season, and trading for Ricky Rubio was a big step to that. We knew we needed that veteran leadership. We knew we needed Olympics, Ricky, and he came and gave that to us. And uh, when he went down with his knee injury, I think he knew it, I think we knew it, um, and it was, it was an emotional uh, few days, if not a week, of just trying to get your head around losing a leader of that caliber. And his play was infectious. But as a human being, he's such a special, special dude. Uh, he thanked us, uh, he thanked us about bringing him here and saying how worth it it was to be a Cavalier. And that's the narrative that we're changing around the league. Come, come to the Cleveland Cavaliers and, and, and play your best basketball. He was having a career year and leading us, and, and, it, and he's going to be missed um, tremendously. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you, man. Good? How we doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you, right? Good. Let's press 17 today. We'll just uh, put us all on email and we'll uh, figure it out. We'll get this trade done tomorrow. All right, thank you. Obviously to address uh, 
really Colin going down and Ricky going down is uh, we need some more ball handling and, and playmaking. And what we really think we're going to miss with Ricky going down is that, that veteran presence, uh, that veteran leadership. And so two days after Ricky went down, we struck a deal to bring in Rajon Rondo from the LA Lakers. Um, and he's, uh, he's going to be incredible for us. Uh, we're really excited about his veteran leadership. We're excited about his playoff experience. The thing that we've heard time in and time out is how much he loves to mentor the young guys. And when I think of Darius Garland and his leap this year, Ricky Ruby had a lot to do with that. And now you have Ricky that had 30 something games and practices with Darius. Now you get an incredible future Hall of Famer mind and Rajon Rondo to help mold um, and grow Darius as well. But I also love playing Darius off the ball some and letting Rondo handle it um, and get, get him some open shots as well. So I think Rondo's really excited about the opportunity. Um, him and his representation, you know, Bill Duffy does a wonderful job. And when this opportunity came up, Bill was singing our praises. And that's, again, a change of narrative here. Um, when veterans want to be here and play here and help this team get to the next level. How was your first practice? Great. Good, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, coach made it easy for me. Pretty yeah. Simple. Uh, simple class of things for me as far as offense, defense. And looking forward to getting on the court. No doubt, man. We got a good group here, man, but you're going to add and contribute to this group tremendously in your leadership. So find your voice. Find your voice with this group. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, man. Appreciate you. Your first media session is over here, too, with All that right. guy. All right. Cool. All right. I'm looking forward Enjoy to yourself. That. Have fun. Thank yep. How exciting is it? Uh, to have Evan Mobley suit up for the Cleveland Cavaliers every night. Um, he's been remarkable. It's incredible to think that he's only 20 years old. I think every game we see a different dimension to his game. Uh, we're starting to see a little ISO Mobley, which is, which is intriguing. Uh, we see him in the post. We see some KG-like fallaway jumpers. Um, I love when he pushes the ball up and finds people in transition. Um, there's just so much to his game that's evolving. but. He plays winning basketball, and, and you know, the league bestow upon him Rookie of the Month. Um, these are big deal milestones for the franchise. We've got a, we're gonna have a lot of firsts up for a long time here, and, and that was a big first that we've had um, since I believe, was it Kyrie or Dion uh, years ago um, to, to get a Rookie of the Month in-house, and I, I, I don't think it's gonna be his last. What's up, man? What's up? How, you How you doing? feeling about the, the Rookie of the Month award, man? Um, amazing. <laughs> I didn't really expect it, honestly, uh, that much because I got hurt and stuff, but um, I got it. I mean, I'm just trying to keep yeah. going, you know. Con congratulations again. I think what's amazing is the development of your game, man. Yeah. Different dimensions you're starting to show. Yeah. My favorite side is that side of the floor, the post up, the one two. Yeah. When, I didn't see that at USC. Yeah, added to my game here. Worked on it. No, that's big time, man. You mentioned your game. The other thing I haven't seen is I've seen you grab a, a block out of the air on a drive. Yeah. I haven't seen it on a three-pointer. Almost the other last game. Almost had it. Almost had it? Yeah, but it didn't, it didn't happen. Bro. You got Bane, man. Yeah. Well, keep doing it, man. Everyone's excited for you, right? right. Have yep. a great road trip, all right? Yep. I'll, see you in, I'll see you on the way back. I got to do some college scouting. All right. I talk about, you know, having firsts for a long time. The all-Star Game is in Cleveland, Ohio this year uh, in February. We're super excited to host the events. Uh, we think we should have some All-Stars at that game. Um, and Evan's certainly deserving, uh, but I also want to bring up Jared Allen and Darius Garland and what they've done to lead this franchise forward. Um, really well deserving as I think you guys know, uh, but that dynamic tandem is really hard to deal with and they've been incredibly successful for us 
and they're gonna have a long runway here in Cleveland uh, to keep creating these dramatic moments. It's like artwork, that pick and roll, right? It's fun to watch. You don't know what's gonna come. The Darius Garland floater, finger roll, or lob, um, or kick out for a three. Um, those two are super dynamic together and they keep getting better together. I'd love to have those two along with Evan at the All-Star Weekend uh, in February. I just say in conclusion um, that we're, we're building this thing for sustainable success. We've talked about that for a long time. I think we have remarkable young talent in place that continues to grow. And we want this year to organically get better and take the step forward. I think the expectations are gonna come and we want those, but right now we're so excited about this young group um, and the veterans that are helping this young group grow and create really meaningful, exciting basketball uh, for these fans to have for a long time. Uh, but when you look at Jared Allen at 23 years old and Darius at 21 years old and Evan at 20, there's a real runway here to have long, sustainable success. Um, and it's our job to keep team building and growing this thing the right way. And so I'm super excited. I think there's something really special brewing here in Northeast Ohio and certainly down here at the Cleveland Clinic Courts. But for, you, for your fan base, for Cavaliers Nation, we appreciate you. Uh, this was way too long to put into a letter. And so I, I figured I had to hit you guys live uh, and on camera. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Let them know.